how to compute the mean or expected value, the variance, and the standard deviation of a discrete probability distribution that we have in a table like this. The first thing to do is to check that this is really a probability distribution. Remember, you need to have all the values of the variable. In this case, we have a variable x with all the values. And we have the probabilities. And we have their probabilities. Check that this is really a probability distribution. The sum of all these numbers need to be 1. So it will be a good idea to type here equal sum and then open bracket and select all the cells that you they have the number that you need to, to sum, that you want to sum. So it means the numbers in this column. Close the bracket and enter. So effectively the answer is one. So we have a probability distribution. So we can compute the expected value. So now let's use the formula of the expected value. It's given by mu equal the sum of the product of x px. So we need to multiply each value of the variable by its probability. So let's make another column here of x multiplied by px. And do exactly what the, the, the formula says. I need to multiply the value. So type here in this cell equal. So you are using a new column. And in this column type equal. And then the two numbers that you need to multiply the value of x. Select the value of x that is in the cell A, A2. Multiply, that is the star sign in the computer, by its probability, that is in the cell B2. So you select the cell B2 and type enter. So that gives you the value of this product. And now, for saving time, you can copy these operations in each of the rows. See this small square here at the bottom right corner of the cell? Select this small square and drag it until the bottom, until the last row of the probability distribution. It will be making the same operation in each row. So it will be multiplying each value of x multiplied by the probability of x. And the only need, thing that you need to do is add together. The formula say the sum of all these values. So add together all these values. So make another sum. Because you have here a sum, a sum of all the values in this column. You can copy this operation here, dragging this square to the, to the right, so until this cell. And it will be making the sum of all the values in this column. So now you have that the expected value, the sum of all the product xpx is this 51.2. So you can answer then that the mean is 51.2. So we have now that the mean is 51.2. If you want to, to compute the variance, use the formula of the variance. Remember the formula of the variance tell you that is the variance is the sum of the value each of the value minus the mean squared, so the deviation squared, multiplied by its probability. So I'm going to use the new column, and I'm going to type the formula at the top. You see, will be in this column will appear the value of x minus mu, close the bracket, to the power 2, and this thin complex symbol is the one that you use for the power 2 in a cell, multiply by the probability of x, so multiply by of x. Of course, this is something that you don't need to do, but it's good to do it just to remember what to do in this cell. So I want to type equal signs at the beginning and then select the value of x that is in the cell A2 minus the mean that is the one that we have already calculated. So I type here, but I'm going to type a dollar sign beside the C and a dollar sign beside the 7. That will be making this cell fix. So when I copy the operations, so this 30 at the beginning, this 30 is minus this 51.2. But when I copy this operation in the second row, it will be 40 minus 51.2. So this cell C7, when you see this 51.2 will be fixed by these two dollar signs. And then close the bracket after the 7, close the bracket, raise it to the power 2 using the symbol of in my computer, this symbol is in the, in the key for number 6, and then multiply, use the star, don't worry, Excel knows the order of operations, 
So don't worry, let's just know that they need to do first the things in the bracket. So I forget the bracket at the beginning, sorry. It says no, that it needs to solve first the things in the bracket, then the exponent and then the multiplication. So multiply by the probability of x that is here in this. So multiply by b2. And press enter. So it says make the operation and then copy these operations until the last row of the probability distribution. Here, just dragging this a small square of the selected cell. So drag all these numbers. If you click, for example, here, you notice that Excel was making A5 minus C7. C7 was fixed. So every number worth minus this number, this mean. Square and multiply by AB5. So you can see what operation make a cell in every cell. But actually, what you need to do is sum all these values to get the variance. The, oper the formula says that I need to sum all this value. I can write equal sum, but I already make a sum here. If I drag here, I will have the value of the variance. The variance is 76.56. Let's type the value, let's type the answer here beside the formula. So we have now the variance. Last thing that we need to do is to compute the standard deviation. And for the standard deviation, you can, in whatever cell of Excel actually, is the square root of this. So let's type it here, equal. And the square root in the cell is SQRT. Square root, open bracket. Don't forget the equal sign at the beginning. SQRT and just select the cell, this. So the cell went, you can also die in square root of 76.56, but it's already there. So you can click over the selected and close the bracket. It will be better because if the cell was uh, making a rounding here, when you select the cell, the cell is gonna use the whole number without rounding. Okay, so we have a, skewed, a square root of D7 and press enter. So we have that the standard deviation is 8.7495. If you want to see this cell with less decimal, you just can click here, in this point here. You can round the number as many decimal you need. For example, if I click here, you will notice that it reduce the number of decimals. So a cell is rounding the number. So let's round it to two decimals. So let's see. And to two decimal, the answer is 8.75. Let's then write that the standard deviation, remember that the standard deviation was the square root of the variance, is just the 8.75. Let's type A75. And with this, I finish to explain how to compute the mean, the variance, and the standard deviation of a discrete probability distribution in which we know the probability of each of its values. Thank you.